Hello to my Aries and happy first quarter moon phase in your sign. <laughs> happy first quarter moon phase in your sign, Aries. Let's get it. Let's see what your cards have to say. Of course, I'm going to give you the questions for the moon in Aries. So we move from the moon in Pisces where emotionally, emotions could have been all over the place because Pisces is uh, the last sign in the zodiac. It's a water sign and it's a mutable sign, right? Not only that, the symbol are two fish tied together. Swimming in opposite directions, some one in one space, you may want to feel like you wanted to escape reality, but on another side of your life, you may want to feel like I'm craving bliss. I want some good news, right? But I need to escape this first, right? So hopefully, moving in the moving towards the moon in your sign, you'll spring forward and not fall back into, you know, allowing yourself to stay, you know, stuck in certain belief systems that. Um, could have um, overwhelmed you or could have slowed you down from moving forward, right? Moving ahead in a positive direction. Let's go. Let's see what your cards have to say, Aries. Let's do it. Let us do it, right? So happy first quarter moon phase, right? So you've had some time to rest coming off that last quarter moon phase and we had the new moon, right? Um, on January the 11th where you stepped through those pillars and stepped into your own light, right? And so here we go. That moon in Pisces just allows you to just say, okay, I'm leaving things behind that's trying to slow me down from springing forward and um, into a better life. So that's where you're putting your energy. You all are ruled by Mars, right? That tower card. Here we have the, uh, the princes of pentacles. Here we have the knight of pentacles. Here we have the tower card, the universe. And then we also have the judgment card, right? All right, so we have the Judgment card and also the Tower card, right? So somebody may be, um, there may be a Scorpio in somebody's life that could be going through a Tower moment. Let me put this here. Something that caused, it's like, you know, somebody, some energies that harshly judged you could be judging, could be judging, being under some kind of a judgment now. Here we have the Universe card. Yeah, here we also have the princess card. So the universe is definitely in your favor, you know, helping you to move away from any types of treacherous energies, right? Any kind of energies that are reckless and treacherous. Source is saying, get away from those types of energies and get yourself ready for the prince or princess of pentacles. So you have the two of pentacles. So source is saying an additional stream of income is coming across your path. So stay away from those types of energies. The, the um, and when I say like in Scorpio, it may not be a Scorpio, it could be a Scorpio, but any kind of energies that set traps for people, like stay away from those types of energies, like to set traps for people, um, or they connected to people who like to set traps for people, if that makes sense, you know, Aries, people that like to try to set people up, like stay away from those types of energies. And, um, and so source is saying, because you're trying to live a softer life and you're trying to re receive more information and how to increase your money so when you're around those types of energies that constantly likes to instigate keep some stuff going like to catch people in traps or um don't protect you from people setting you up sources saying hey get as far away from them as possible because they're only concerned with themselves just just stay just stay away from them here we have the Hierophant card. Now that you know what your purpose is and you know that you are worthy and good enough, sources saying stay away from any energies that cause you to be reactive. Reactive in any way, shape, form, or fashion. You're going through a lot of major changes. Here's the Hierophant card. I see somebody feeling free. Matter of fact, you just feel you feel more versatile when you're not around those types of energies. You know, somebody had to go into hermit mode for a minute and then shed that that outer shell, you know, that hermit crab shell. Somebody had to sh shed that and talk directly to source. Here we have the hangman. So it's just saying, hang in there with yourselves, hang in there with yourselves. This is what I was talking about. Like on one hand, you could have been, you know, trying to escape reality. On another hand, you're trying to dream bigger and dream for a more blissful life. And so source is saying, you're going to feel really, really lucky because, um, your belief system has changed about some things, right? If you were stuck on a certain belief system that I got to stay connected to those types of energies, whether they're family members or friends, I got to stay connected. I got to stay connected. So it's just like, mm -mm, no, you don't. 
it's time for you to sit down and not only increase your prayer life, but increase your meditation life, right? So you can tap into your strength and get away from those energies that cause you to be reactive. Quickly judge energies quickly. Like stay away from that. Stay away from that. Um, so yeah, sources, sources helping you to download, you know, get, catch those messages. Keep your vibrations as high as possible. So yeah, I definitely see somebody increase their prayer life and also increase your meditation life. Because that's what that's how you balance it out, right? Because you're sending out sending out a message to source in the universe, okay? But I want some information to come back. So I'm gonna have to sit down somewhere and meditate, whether you're meditating in your car, laying in your bed, sitting down with your eyes closed, and you're, you know, in the comfort of your home with meditation music playing in the background whatever it is you're going to have to quiet yourself to be in receiving mode so source is saying while you were in receiving mode the message came in to get away from ruthless and reckless energies and energies that cause you to be reactive stay away from those types of energies and now be in receiving mode of creative ideas that's going to help you to increase your wealth right here we have the high priestess somebody has high priestess energy five of wands here we also have the six of wands the two of wands the queen of swords and also the lover's card mm -hmm, mm -hmm. yes yeah, so here we have the high priestess energy so somebody's definitely somebody now starts to look at the light and dark of things and start to <clears throat> excuse me increase your your knowledge right your your spiritual knowledge here we have the lover's card and some kind of partnership in business and or in love is trying to come in. But source is saying move forward and don't look back because that energy may try to call you, reach out to you, but it's an old bait and switch. Nothing has really changed. So source is saying you need to change because their energy is not going to change. They'll call you, and say, hey girl, hey guy, you know, trying to talk to you. But sources says, source already warned you, stay away from the energies. It's two types of energies in particular. I'm excuse me. Yeah, source is saying uh, just stay away from that fast as you possibly can, as fast as you can, because the energy will try to reach out to you in some way, shape, form, or fashion. And source already told you, stay away from them. And I do see you being victorious at doing it because, again, it'll pull you down into a lower frequency. Like I said, bait and switch. You're like, okay, what's it going to hurt if I respond to a text message? What's it going to hurt if I respond to a phone call? What if it's going to hurt if a third party come and tell me something? What is it going to hurt? Source is saying, what will the hurt is that that disobedience. That's what the tower card is. Diso I mean, obedience is better than sacrifice. And if source is the one that's saying staying away from energies, you better sit yourself on your throne, adjust your crown, and carefully vet your thoughts. <laughs> Because 10,000 other people can tell you to stay away from energies, but when sources tell you, and source could be working through them, but source is telling you directly to stay away from certain types of energy because somebody was connected to some energies where whether they know traps was being set for you, people trying to set you up, or whether they were doing it themselves directly. So it says stay away from them. Stay away, stay away, stay away, stay away. But it was all for the purpose of you getting away. Like this Knight of Wands energy is like, okay, stay locked in and laser focused. You have a lot of ideas. You have a lot of motivation. You motivate a lot of people. You have a lot of ideas. You have a lot of clarity of thought when you're away from those energies. When you're connected to certain energies, you, if you feel cloudy, you have low self-esteem, all sorts of things. You don't even recognize yourself. Let's see. Let's see. Here we have the hang one. We also have the six of wands. Here we also have the devil card. Here we also have the hermit card. We have the two of swords and then also the nine of swords. Yeah. Energy will keep you in a nightmare. So two and um two and nine is eleven, obviously, right? Here we have the number eleven again master number we had a new moon on the 11th so source is saying hey look open your eyes take the blindfolds off it's two types of energies that will keep you in nightmare mode keep you in nightmare mode so source is saying look there you go victor victorious i see you moving on from those and breaking any kind of demonic bond you have with yourself this is not about calling someone else a demon everybody has demons so source is saying Break away from the fear, doubt, the um, any kind of addictions. Those are what you're breaking because those energies irritate those. 
And here's the Hermit card again. Came out twice. You're wondering if you're good enough. Source is always saying you're worthy. That's why some kind of partnership and business is coming across your path. That's going to give you extra motivation, right? To keep on moving forward. So Source is saying hang in there with yourself. Hangman came out twice. You see that there? Again, dream even bigger. Dream twice as big, you know? Because that's what's happening. Source is saying because you, you are able to do your sign that's able to do multiple things successfully, and source is going to give somebody enough work to keep you busy in your love life if that's what you want and or in a business partnership so yes all right here we go let's see what else we got going on let's see let's see let's see let me get a little bit more information on this um business for some of the characteristics for the business partnership and also the love interest right I'm not going to delve too deep into the love interest. We're going to keep that on Patreon side. Um, because it'll be restricted over here. Here we have the um, Two of Swords. Here we have the Seven of Wands. Here we have the Ace of Swords. We have the Magician card, the Knight of Swords, and then also the Knight of Wands. Okay. So something about this energy right here is that they will encourage you to get your rest. This is a um, new... Uh, the, okay these are the same characteristics for characteristics for a new love interest and or a new business partnership they're going to encourage you to get your rest so that you don't get burnout and the way that they're encouraging you to get your rest is um just through conversation they may be a person that meditates too so not only are you inspired and motivated motivated to be around that energy they'll talk a lot about meditation calming their mind you know, their spirit, those kind of things and helping you with some tips and pointers, basically the same thing you heard before, but because it's coming from some kind of partnership in business and or partnership in love. Now, again, source will use anybody or anything to get the message to you until you receive it. So even though you have heard the message before, I can tell you this source sent it to you first before it sent out to other people to tell you whether it was this reading, somebody else's reading, a friend, you know, a new, like I said, new business partnership and say, hey, you know, I go to this, you know, meditation group or I go to this such and such and such and such. But that's what source has been trying to tell somebody the whole time. Stay away from energies that cause you to be reactive. Here we have the magician card. Source is saying this somebody's going to encourage you to be more in your softer side, in your feminine energy. Spend some time in hermit mode so that you can be getting some more downloads again through meditation. But there's definitely some energies that are watching. They're waiting to see if there's any changes in your spirit to see if you've changed. They they watching. They watching every little every little thing that you do. But I definitely see you having a breakthrough which feels like a breakdown, but this is the, this is the goal right here. Source wants you to be action oriented, get locked in and focus on your purpose. That's what this tower card is for here. Put all your energy towards your purpose. Don't put your energy towards who judged you being reactive and responding to, I mean, re reactive to who you think judged you. That's where the strength card comes in because now that you have partnership in business and or in love coming across your path and your energy is directed outward in your fire sign, that may be the thing that comes to mind, talking about that. And so Source is saying, this energy is not coming across your path to trauma bond. They're coming across in business and they're coming across in love. And they're coming across because you're motivational. They're motivational. They're going to encourage you, hey, let's go to meditation together, whether it's in business or love. They're not on that frequency of talking about how people judge you not for long. They may say, yeah, you know, we've all been judged, but let's go to such and such class, <laughs> you know, that kind of thing. So, all right, all right, all right, all right. But like I said, source told you first a while ago, you know, so. Mm. There it is. Dream even bigger. That's right. Dream even bigger. Whatever you were dreaming before, because something wore you out and had you not in the most positive thoughts because you had on blindfolds and didn't want to see something, just kept feeling a nightmare. So it said, dream even bigger, Aries. Dream even bigger. Rite of passage. Yep. 
somebody's going through a rite of passage. And 31, 3 and 1 obviously is 4. 4 is the earth number. So source is saying to you, the light side of the number 4 is you saying, hey, I'm a still a divine being of light who has gone through a human experience, right? Who has had a human experience. And I need to move beyond that. So our source is saying, hang in there with yourself with two types of energies in particular. Hang in there with yourself, but you are divinely protected. There it is. I am protected. Let's see what else we have here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But yeah, you are divinely protected. Because Source knew that somebody was in a vulnerable state. And the beautiful thing about when you, you would start, somebody start opening up their mouth in their private time, talking directly to Source, help me, help me with something. I need to, I need, I have all of these ideas about things and I don't want to focus on the negative ideas about other stuff. I want to focus on some positive ideas that's going to get me moving forward. So, cow. Yeah, somebody was definitely, somebody was definitely being bullheaded. But here we have number five. May the embrace of all that is nurturing you awaken in all that you are becoming. Yeah, so somebody was having some problems. That was number five. Somebody was having some problems moving beyond that, right? But now, 31 and 5 reduces to 9. Somebody said, okay, something is over. And now my clairvoyance and my psychic abilities have been increased, right? Now, the things that I didn't know, I know for certain about myself. I should listen to my intuition. I should listen to, you know, I just need to quiet my mind so I can be in receiving mode, right? And so the dark side of the number four is going right back to being stubborn. It's my way or the highway and still not getting the message. It's because it, source will keep sending you tests coming around in different forms and see if you are still attached to the demons within, or have you identified those demons through situation and said, I'm breaking those chains so I can focus on breaking generational cycles, chains and curses. I don't want to be bound at my, I don't want to be bound by my flesh, right? I need to be breaking cycles, chains and curses. So I think you got it. Thank you. Got it. All right. Let's see what the number is and let's close it out. Let's see what the number is and let's close it out. Two, 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 I am balanced. So trust that the seeds of your thoughts are growing as you are nourishing them with your words, feelings, and actions. That's right. Definitely moving on from some things. And um, like I said, in this vulnerability and you're putting your energy towards your purpose on this planet, it could be some little nervousness. Is something going to come back to try to bite me? But source is saying... This, um, this five of wands right here, if somebody were to call you or text you or try to reach out via third party, as tempted as you may be, so it's just like, don't go back to being stubborn because that tower could fall the other way. It could fall on you like, oh my gosh, why didn't I listen to it? So that's what I have for you. Your questions for the moon in Aries. The first question is, while somebody's thinking about something and somebody is maybe at a point of burnout, the first question you want to ask yourself, Aries, is are you struggling with low self-worth? So, right, so am I struggling with low self-worth? Second question is, are you procrastinating, perhaps stuck in a relationship or situation at home or at work that you're not happy with? The third question is, are you repressing your emotions and feelings and consequently feeling resentful? The fourth question is, are you holding yourself back paralyzed in unconscious fear that stops you from taking the leap into the unknown? And then last but not least is, if you'd known that you're fully supported, what would you do? What would you do? That's right. And so sources say you have a lot of support from the universe. You have a lot of support from ancestors. Obviously, from source, you've been praying. Sources are saying, hey, look. You got everything you need to keep on moving forward in the states away from certain types of energy. So this right here, this some if somebody is being bullheaded, I mean, I don't even know what to tell you, but that's what I have for you. I will see you all on Freedom Friday. Bye.